Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Martian Technology here, and today in this video, I would be reviewing you the Cyanogen Mode 12.1 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. So, this is one of the best stock Android ROM available for the Note 4, and this is one of the first ROM to provide you Android 501.1 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. As the Note 4's official stock ROM is running on 5.0.1, and this is the one of the first ROM. And yeah, taking a look at this ROM, this is a stock Android ROM. You would be getting a stock Android experience, but once you install this ROM, you would you would be missing all the Samsung features because there is no Samsung fingerprint scanner. There is no Samsung S Pen features out here. As you can see, there was no pop up because there are no features. And as you can see. If I press the button, there is no features, so you would be uh, missing all the Samsung features. But if you want, if you want a quick, smooth, and a fast stock Android experience on your Note 4, this is one of the best ROM. As you can see here, you would be getting all the Nexus things because Nexus has the stock Android phones available in the market. And yeah, as you can see in this, you would be getting a new feature called Themes. From themes, you can customize your phone. As you can see, this is theme engines, theme engine, and you can you can install multiple themes. There are a bunch of themes in the Play Store. You can just go in and choose any one if you want. And I have downloaded this ZY Access UI theme and the second pitch black theme. This is the system default theme I'm running at the moment. I have tweaked the font a bit. Here's the FN buttons thing. From which you can enable the screen on nav bars as you can see here like stock android and then the soft keys won't work as you can see I'm pressing there but the screen on navigation bars would work that's the thing but I would prefer to use this because you would be getting a big screen more things would be there in the screen and if you enable this you would be getting that google circle like on the nexus 6 and the nexus 5 which is again a nice thing then taking a look another thing is about status bar from status bar you can just tweak the clock to center as you can see on the top let me go ahead and zoom it a bit so as you can see here i just tweak that clock in the middle i can add battery percentage next to the icon and there are a bunch of features available which is a which is really nice this features you won't be getting on the stock rom actually then there is privacy from which you get privacy guard blocked colorless you can block any call any any person actually then you have sanity mode statistics this is the data wait so i can't read these stuff those are private and they are whisper push i don't have any idea what's this if you know you can just use that which is again a nice thing you get performance from which you get io scheduler and this is enable poor app profiles so this is all about this rom this is one of the best rom available and from this rom you would be getting ambient display feature which is an amazing thing you can change the lcd density and many other things which is again a nice thing so this is it. If you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.